Good evening guys. Um, it's about 5.15 in the evening so I'm bringing you down here to um, share with you my uh, way of preventing some disease, I mean diseases and pests in my um, collection of orchids. This one particular one in here in this uh, bunch is, uh, are all my symbidiums including that one that's hanging there yeah and the one that i have here what i have here is um solution of the neem oil neem oil mixed it with water and i'm gonna apply this one in here and i follow the i'll do this like every maybe seven, seven to 14 days up until i put them inside in the house for winter and I won't apply neem oil inside the house unless I have to if I really really have to but usually I did it I I've been doing this for three years and I don't I don't get um much pest in the winter until like the last uh the last week of um you know uh the last week of winter like early spring then the one that they would it started to get warm up again then they started the pest started chewing up like mealy bugs and um, once in a while I find one scale but that's it I, I just control them with neem oil solution uh, neem oil I use that for organic gardening as well like mostly for my fruit trees um, it contains uh, it's three in one it contains a uh, it? insecticide fungicide and miticide that, that should take care of the uh, spider mites so and anyway these are my uh, I got a dozen of uh, symbidiums some of them are uh, like um, the same because um, I split the recovering so I get two of the same so which I but I'm okay with it because I love them. This one has still had a bloom. So gorgeous. She's slight, slightly fragrant. Look how gorgeous that is. And they all have a lot of um, new growth. Yeah. And this one too. Look at that, guys. I'm going to spray uh, this one in the neem oil. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, look at this. I got different one this is the I have the smallest one here this one is a name variety it's a symbidium King Arthur green giant bit small it has a new growth and so it's almost gone and I have this one in there I just put because it has um aphids inside inside the house they can't wait to come out that's why and um you never seen this one guys but i have um extra african violets that i put in the hanging basket leave them outside so i'm gonna put them oil on that too it's gonna stay outside yeah so here it is i have um this one is a um, three gallon one so i just keep shaking it so that the oil would get mixed up <laughs> really well in the, with the water yeah and I already pumped it hang on. sorry guys so hang on I'll show you hang on let me adjust the thing okay guys I already adjusted the nozzle so just like this all the leaves in there leaves the the outside and the inside the leaves I repeat application in um, usually it says in the label like 7 to 14 days but I usually do 14 days or more because I choose to apply the solution when there there are no um, 
prediction of rain within um, three or four days. Yeah, because I don't want to waste money. Like I just want to all this leaves soak all the oil in there. Yeah. Basically, just like this, guys. Yeah. I do this in my citrus because citrus is very prone to um, scale and and the flowers like if you have infested in the flowers just do it like that but my my flowers are clean no bugs in my flowers so I do that one go on then yeah they are not they don't have a pest in there so I shouldn't spray that one but it doesn't it's okay I just don't want to get in trouble with the pest. So I'm gonna pause this video and move to other location. Yeah. Because the thing is quite heavy. <laughs> now we are in a different angle. Like more spray in here I choose the spray so that I can go really get in there and hit a lot of the leaves and if I'm not holding the camera as well I will like turn them around you get the idea yeah and this for the little guy turn around and the African violets this one this what this African violets um there's another different one in there I just the different variety I will put that in the hanging basket and I will um leave it outside uh, don't worry guys I have plenty of copy of this one so I want to try what they're gonna do in the hanging basket this year I got um three hanging one in there so far and this would be the fourth so um, this is my butterfly gloxinia I started from cuttings the aphids love them um, later on I'm gonna go flip this other side yeah good guys it's actually fun it's, like it's, it's been raining last night that's why I didn't I waited this long yeah I'm gonna do this with my citrus as well yeah, yeah. I'll do this this is what I do with my orchids when they're outside the ones in the inside, they don't have all those bugs, so I refrain from doing this to them. But if they have bug, I will put them outside and do the same procedure. Yeah. Okay, guys, I will um, um, finish this up one in here maybe I will um, also share it with you I will apply neem oil with the with my outdoor um, nobilis and talias okay guys um thank you for watching and stay tuned bye